Don't be sad, Water Droplet. We're here now. We'll save your friend. You bet. But how are we going to save them? Do we have to break down this wall somehow? Nope, we can't do that. No breaking the wall. Hmm. Do we need to find a key of some sort then? Look, the device has lit up, and it's projecting images onto the wall. A two-dimensional space with objects of the same composition as the device nested inside. Yep, what Kaya said, and that's where its friend is. But how exactly do we enter the image on the wall? Maybe we just copy what the water droplet did? Hmm... But what does that mean? Hold on, I think Klee's on to something. Since the water droplet appears to be the key that activated the mechanism, we may be able to follow it inside simply by touching the device. The principle is no different than how we entered this bottle domain. Fair enough. Okay, deep breath, then head in. <laughs> your way. Wait, is it a reflection of this box in front of the wall? Come back out for a second.
feel after entering that two-dimensional space. Any physical side effects? You sure seem fine to Paimon. Well, I'm just glad that you're okay. Good thing you is here to look out for everyone. Can't say the same for you though, Kaya. You're pretty quick to send the Traveler inside. Hey now, I only suggested that because I was confident that the Traveler would be fine. Water Droplet, is there anyone else here besides you and your friend? Yep, you know, anyone who looks like me or my friends. Oh, it ran off again! Amazing! Come on, let's follow it! Critical. Our window of opportunity to fix this is rapidly closing. I'm sure you've noticed just how much things have deteriorated in recent days. But, but even so... This is your home. Are you really going to let everything fall to pieces? I... well, I live here, but it doesn't actually belong to me. Huh? Paimon knows that voice! Anyone else who comes into this domain in the future We'll take one look at the ruins before them and conclude that this place was abandoned years ago. But just imagine how different things could be if you maintain this domain in perfect condition. Whoever sets foot inside would witness a magical wonderland. How miraculous it would feel to them to find such unimaginable beauty in the middle of a lifeless desert. Oh, you're right, General. Truly, but... Act now while you still can. You have to stand up to this and break free from your despair. The most important thing is to have no regrets in the end. Hmm. Well, no one chooses to have regrets, do they? But I take your point. I'll try m But the question remains... Of where to... <laughs> Paimon's figured out who... Is it Mr. Honorary Knight's friend from a faraway land? A divine priestess? What's that? <gasps> Is it a kind of maid? What are you doing here? Huh? We have new visitors? Greetings, everyone. This is the Valurium Mirage, and I'm the caretaker, Adia. I'm so sorry that you have to see this domain in its current state of disarray. We are actively working on repairs, and everything will be back to normal shortly. Greetings, everyone. I guess I should introduce myself, too. It's all right. Just leave the introductions to me. Uh, I kind of wanted to say hello in my own way. But no harm done. I guess I'll let her do the honors. This lady is a visitor to the Domain, just like yourselves. She is a formidable military general. Have any of you heard of 
Inazuma's Onmyo Chamber. The... uh... what chamber? Onmyo Chamber. It's an elite training academy for gifted students of Onmyodo. Practitioners are divided into four classes, A through D, and assigned the power of Shikigami based on their mastery of the art. Uh... wait... This lady famously led the Class D underdogs to victory against the Class A favorites in the final mock campaign before graduation. An astonishing feat that few in the history of the Academy have ever achieved. Hence, Formidable General is no exaggeration. Isn't that right, General? Uh, what's wrong? Uh, <laughs> huh? Wait, so the favorites were beaten by the Class E underdogs? Uh, Paimon's not completely following. That doesn't sound like the Divine Priestess Mr. Honorary Knight was talking about. Uh-oh. Did she just get caught lying in front of someone she was trying to impress? Or maybe she uses a different identity in her private life, and this is the first time her friends are learning about it. Seems kind of embarrassing, but also kind of cool. I guess having someone else to introduce... Hmm, maybe I'd fit in better with everyone if... <clears throat> Some people call me a general, but it's just their way of showing respect. My actual name is Sangonomiya Kokomi. Huh? Oh no, sorry, my mistake, general. Uh, I mean, Miss Sangonomiya? <laughs> call me whatever you like, Idea. The only important thing about names is knowing who's who. Get it now? It's like that story that Mom told me that time. Klee can explain. So basically, in the story, a big group of people go on an adventure to Fatherland. One of them's called the King, and some of them are called Knights. So, Miss Sangonomiya must be the super smart one who solves all the problems in the story. Uh... Perhaps... A sage? Indeed. Wisdom is an important attribute. Okay, well, I'll just call you that. <laughs> Mist! <laughs> Fine by me. Sounds real at least cuter than my pen name, that's for sure. Well then, how should I address the rest of you? <laughs> how could I ever forget you? But what about these esteemed ladies and gentlemen accompanying you? I'd be delighted if you could introduce me to them, too. Wait! Klee wants a title, too! Mm, okay, got it! Klee wants to be a mage! The kind that flies around everywhere! da 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 Whoosh! Kaya can be the master thief. Mr. Honorary Knight can be... Uh... The knight! And Paimon will be the fairy who follows the knight everywhere! Master Thief, huh? <laughs> I did like playing pirates as a child, so I suppose this is an apt role for me. And I must admit, the master part is a nice touch. Uh, hold on a second. Are you saying the position of knight is now filled? You can be the sword master who can cut through anything and also gets to wear a super sparkly cape. <laughs> That's more like it. And Kale can be... Um... The healer! Uh... Uh, no, no. I don't mind. Healer is a great role. I just don't know if I'm qualified to be one. Whenever I'm thinking of titles for myself, I usually imagine myself as an adventurer or musician. <laughs> I never thought I could be a healer. I mean... Feels like it should be Master Tainari's role, if anyone's. <laughs> don't worry, Kale. You'll be the bestest healer ever! You don't talk much, but you're very kind. Just like the healers in Mom's stories. You'll do fine. I heard you're good with bandages. You can patch up a wound, can't you? Uh, I can pitch a tent. Maybe you heard wrong? <laughs> but I'll do my best. It's my first day filling in for Master Tainari, but hopefully it's the first of many. This is a great idea. Once a new visitor arrives, they can assume a new identity, then add in some role-playing. Oh, we can't leave you out, Miss Idea. Hmm. There are a 
have lots of characters. That's perfectly okay. I already have a role here anyway, remember? I'm the caretaker. I got it! I got it! This wasn't in any of the stories, but you can be the mascot. Mascot? Clee, maybe you could think up an even better role for Miss... A mascot, you say? Isn't that a character that doesn't have to actually do anything and sits around letting everyone else do all the important work? Incredible. You've seen right through me. Sounds like the idea of being lazy is pretty exciting to... The mascot serves to maintain troop morale, Itia. Don't underestimate your role. Ah, oh, alright. I'll be the mascot then. That's right! Thank you for bringing these new friends here safely. You can go off and play now. Thanks, Water Droplet. See ya! Hmm? Water Droplet? Is that your pet name for it? <laughs> I suppose it's as accurate a nickname as any. We keep getting sidetracked. But I believe you were saying something about being in a difficult predicament. Is some oh, yes. About that. I'm afraid the entire domain has recently sustained some significant damage. It was as if the whole world was suddenly flipped upside down. A few components went missing from the core, which sustains the domain, and the impact cascaded out from there. Needless to say, many things in the Valurian Mirage have now stopped working. Just days after I agreed to let my friend's daughter come and visit, too. When she gets here and sees the state this place is in... <sighs> oh, so you're Mom's friend? Hi, Auntie Desert. I'm Clee. Here, I brought the magic invite, see? Huh? Wait, so you're... You Look how dilated her pupils are. She must be very surprised. Yeah, and <laughs> not in a good way. Mom's the one who sent me here. She's the strongest mage ever. She said that her friend lives in the desert. You live in the desert, so that must be you. Ah, I see. So being a mage runs in the family. Uh, you're... You're Alice's daughter? Oh, I just want the ground to swallow me up right now. Wait, that's it. I'll hide myself away in the core of the domain. <laughs> hide there until this all blows over. Idea's really going through it. She's like a shriveled little forest fungus. Hang it, Kali. That's a harsh analogy. We're not that. Don't worry, Auntie Desert. Clee's here to help you, and all my friends will help too. Just yeah, don't you worry. Sir Fixalot over here has a good track record with this kind of. Well, I'm useless. But it looks like that won't matter with all you capable people around. Don't put yourself down, Adia. You're great, too. Thanks for your encouragement. That'll give me some time to think things through. of great stories about what that's feeling nervous Kale? Hmm? oh no <laughs> well the easiest way to imitate oh okay in that case uh... there you go with just a few simple words anyway what about your <laughs> maybe not oh Who else has visited the Valoria Mirage recently? Uh, there was someone from the Academia who came not long ago. A Kasharawar scholar. Blonde hair. Architect, I think. He was a huge help, and redesigned many of the buildings here. Although he was always grumbling to himself, he was extremely diligent in his work. I could tell that was a sensitive soul. A lot after him, an aristocrat from Mondstadt showed up. Then the Gen... I mean... Miss Sangun. Unfortunately, everything here suddenly started changing before I had the chance to be a good- Do you know where the Mondstadt aristocrat- If I remember correctly, he headed north after the- It's a pity we're having all these issues. Oh. 
Still, not to worry. There's... Hmm. Hey, Idea! You got an update for us? We've all caught up. Very well. Then please allow me, Idea, your mascot, to explain exactly what's happened. Basically, this entire domain is powered by a device called the Central Hub, which you all saw. But following a major incident, several key components from the Central Hub came... Four components, I believe, which has caused the Central Hub to stop turning. Oh, so that thing's supposed to spin? Yes, it definitely shouldn't be frozen still like it is now. At least, that's not how it was when I first got here. Hey, everything's gonna be okay. Right. I do know where one of the parts is. It landed not too far away, but the rest all landed in different. <clears throat> now, as the caretaker and your mascot... Um, you can just be yourself if you want. No oh, I see. Um, okay, so I was thinking... Fine by me. I was going to be looking for... I'll be your backup, Eula. I know you usually team up with Am... Oh? <laughs> well, this'll be fun. Let's see if a forest ranger can outperform an out. Oh. Master Thief Kaya and Mage Klee, if you could earmark some time in your busy schedules. Earmark? What? It just means we mustn't forget to do it. Finally, we have our general, Miss Sangonomiya, and our knight, the Traveler. If there's no objections, please come with me to retrieve the first component. All right, well, if anyone finds anything, come back here and we'll regroup. Please take care while you're out on the road and look after each other, especially our little mage here. You got it. I'll take extra special care of Kaya. I'll be on my best behavior. Uh, okay, we'll leave it there for now. You two, please follow me. I remember seeing it just behind the central hub. So, how come you didn't bring it back when you first saw it? I'd have been more than happy to, if this one component was enough to fix the whole domain. But with three other components to find... Oh, I suddenly felt overwhelmed by how much work needed doing. Hmm, Paimon kinda gets that. Taking the first step is always the hardest part. further than usual to really broaden my horizons. Well, that's one reason, anyway. I can explain in more detail another time. you're both wondering, oh, but where's the component? There's nothing here. Oh, oh, it's that lamp thingy, right? Water droplet showed us. Uh, yes. Ugh. Showing people the ropes is supposed to be my job. Cheer up, Idea. The Hydro Idolin can give a basic demonstration of how to use things, but beyond that, that's where you come in. 
your descriptions can exp... Paimon forgot how persuasive Kokomi can be when she really wants to. Hmm. Oh, well, if you put it that way... <laughs> well then, just pretend like you've never seen it before and I'll t This is called the Streaming Projector. Everything here in the Valurium Mirage was made using this. All you need to do is place an item in the projector, and you can construct a corresponding item based on the shape of the ori- At least, I think that's what it used to do. With the domain in its current state, only its most basic fun- Okay, not quite that basic. At the moment, it's only able to show two-dimensional objects. I call them preprints. Think of it like a sort of draft or blueprint. So you're saying the component- f Yes, exactly. I'll leave you to go in and physically retrieve it. Well, I... Really? No. Sorry. I feel like I have two left feet when I try to dance. I guess I'll just find a place nearby to sit and... Hey, come on! Cheer up! like the component is in here. Yes! That's the one! Now you just need to bring it back out! What is this thing anyway? Some kind of... And why is it so small? It doesn't look like it belongs in... It's to explain, but I assure you that it's definite. So that leaves three more comp- Every journey begins with a first step. I think we're off to a good start. You... you really think so? I suppose you're right. She did manage to defeat Class A at the- Um, you, uh, you don't need to keep bringing that up. Anyway, thank you for- uh, I'll take this and start trying to repair the central hub. Oh, why am I so clumsy? Once again- confused. You mentioned that the- Can you tell me a little bit more about that? Oh, shoot! I see. Hey, look! The wheel is spinning now! <gasps> oh, and now it's stopped again! It also wasn't spinning at the right speed. Before the incident, it spun much faster than that. Oh, so you saw it back when it- oh, Yes, I arrived here a little earlier than the rest of you. But the- Like Idea said, it felt like the world was... flipped upside down. Ugh. No, it's no use. Uh, seems it won't run until all the missing components are returned. For a moment there, when it started turning, I got excited. Wishful thinking is only going to lead to dis- Hey! Mr. Honorary Knight and Miss General are here! I was sure we were- Hey, how'd it go? <laughs> Impressive. I doubt you'd find many other knights of such caliber e How about our master thief and mage? Did you- You bet! We made a huge discovery! The place we were trying to get to was blocked off, but then, just now, a huge- huh? It appeared- Come and see, Mr. Honorary Knight. Let's go on a canyon adventure. I'll sit this one out. I'm beat. Me
Miss General, you should come too. You're wonderful. <laughs> Let's go! Just before the canyon appeared, I heard of. Could it have been the central hub? Hey, you, uh. Oh. New guy. Oh, hey! Paimon didn't realize anyone. You actually saw her? <laughs> She's barely shown her face since everything started falling apart here. Uh... Oh, right. I didn't introduce myself. I'm Ferdinand. Me and my brother. Well, we used to, until this whole domain was. Idea is working on repairing the dome. Really? Huh. I assumed that she'd be curled up. Anyway, I checked all the stations around the whole- Conked out? How- Uh, but aren't you just travelers who stumbled upon this- Nuh-uh! I'm mage- A mage? <laughs> Allow me to- Okay, I gotcha. Well, right now the more helpers we got, the better, I guess. Anyway, our first priority is to get the carts here up and running again. Oh? And why is that? The roads here twist and turn so much that the best way to get around is by riding the rail tracks instead. Let me show you. This is what we used to make them. Did Dia bring you up to speed on these things? Yep. Basically, we need something that we can put inside the- mm, Like what? Can it be anything? Yeah, you can put it that way. But one other thing is that it has to be compatible with the tracks. So... something like... How about you, Traveler? Any ideas? That would solve the issue of my Wood's no good. A rickety wooden cart would be too dangerous. Really? Hey, everyone, come and see what Klee made. Ta-da! Look, I made a cart! Wow! Amazing work, Klee! Whoa! It fits a track like a glove, too. Plus, it's a heck of a lot cuter than the ones Adia made. <laughs> I just wanted to give it a drop. Hyman's gonna ask. What exactly did you make your cart? I used Jumpy Dumpy! <laughs> hmm... Is there a problem or something? It's just... This cart is made from... Um... It's a bomb or something, isn't it? Yeah, I gathered from your conversation that Jumpy Dumpty is a little more... It's okay, though. Because the end product only takes on the general look of the source material. It's okay! No need to delve into the theme. I might just want to... Huh? Can we ride the cart now? In a moment, we need a Hydro Idolin to... Okay, she's ready to ride. The track is damaged up ahead. 
We need to make some repairs before we can go any further. Yep, looks like it's all reverted to a preprint state. Do you know why that happened? Everything in this domain starts as a preprint and only takes shape after being illuminated. But the Hydro Eidolon that forms the tracks here has been trapped. So someone needs to go into the preprint and rescue the. But the projector here is sealed off by a giant bubble. That's the Hydro Eidolon's way of protecting the device from damage. If the. Aha! Uh -huh. So for step one, we need water droplet to help! Aww, it seems to really like. Um, any volunteers for. So the Hydroid Dolan was locked up in that chest. Aww, it's completely empty! Yay! We saved two water droplets now! Whoa! Water droplet just transformed into some new tracks! Good! Let's keep going then. Brothers, well, <sighs> those two. You'll need them soon enough. I suppose this will do. just about finished repairing the station and the connecting tracks. Let's go check the track switcher now. It's over there. Thank <laughs> you. 
here. It's, but, uh, not as big as the one we saw in... I bet it's something super... Very good, Klee. You're using what you saw earlier to make observations. Like a real... Hmm. It That's right. Originally, all you had to do was flip... Hmm. But it seems Jeremy still hasn't fixed it yet. Is this Jeremy you mentioned? Yeah. When I really, it made no difference. Hmm. Well, if you ask me, you're... Yes. Finally, someone who can recognize... Sometimes I can't help but get angry just thinking of Jeremy. You should have seen him back in the sandstorm. I suggested we go east, and he argued that we should go west. Are you running a sandstorm? What happened after that? We separated and each went our own way. Lucky for us, we stumbled across this domain. Otherwise, I'm sure we would have been buried in the sand. Everything will get better once we get the switcher working again. Hmm. Still stuck here just as I expected. Didn't I already tell you? Wait a minute, how did you get here? The answer is standing right in front. Huh. Yeah, sure. You never get anything done on your own. You always get someone else's help. You're one to talk. What have you managed to accomplish, huh? Oh, they started arguing the mo- <laughs> Me? <sighs> All right, Jeremy. <sighs> Fine. I'd rather be focusing my efforts on- You should calm down too, Ferdinand. Let's all focus- Fine. I'm sorry you had to see that. My name's Jer- I assume you're the ones who helped repair the tracks. Thank you very much. No need to thank us. We're just trying to help Idea restore the domain. I see. Now that you and Ferdinand brought the cart up here, we'll need the Hydroidolans to fix the area. Them again, huh? Seems the Hydroidolans are- Yes, of course. Not only do they keep the junction turning, they operate practically everything else in the domain. Seems most of the tracks and junctions have been repaired now. Yep. So maybe it- What? You think you deserve the credit? Uh, you... Well, either way, you're always quick to criticize my ideas and push your own. And what about you? Don't forget it was Hado and I who took care of the mess that one time you impulsively tried one of your brilliant I- Uh, speaking of Hado, I left early this morning. I assumed he'd be with you. Seriously? Couldn't you have at least lo Hey, come on! You didn't see him either, so what's your excuse? Oh. Oh. Klee? I don't get it. Nobody did anything bad. I... Uh, I... Who are you calling smug? All right, I think we've heard enough from you two. If you insist on bickering, then I'd suggest you go somewhere else. Otherwise, I'll just cool you two off myself. Uh... <laughs> now, come with me. I'd like to have a word with you. Phew. Don't be upset, Glee. There are many complicated situations in this world which don't know as a passing tr But in my experience, Family issue. Seems you don't like dealing with this kind of thing either, Kokomi. But it's still not. I don't know how to. I'm sorry. We've calmed down. We shouldn't argue in front of a child like that. We're sorry. It's okay. Back to the topic at hand. Ah, right. Our best get. We would have to use the. Sorry to trouble you again, but would you help us find him? Oh. Um... <sighs> <sighs>
Okay, this is the end of this track segment. Auto should be nearby. We'll need more where that came from. Ah, I guess you had repaired the tracks and stations. Now that the tracks, station, and carts are all repaired, we're about ready to... Ugh. You're in no condition to be out running around like this, Hato. <laughs> yeah, but these are unusual. That's true, but you should stop to think things through. Exactly. If there's anything that needs to be done... <laughs> You... Hey! That's between Jeremy and me. Uh, I'm not trying to make trouble. Hey, sir. Oh, uh, don't worry. Are you and Jeremy? Hmm? Why don't you just talk Kaya's all... You're right. Uh, well... Really? We've been through this kind of thing as his brother... But it doesn't look... Huh? Maybe... But my mom... Hado sure do... Hmm. Please write in... <sighs> I, um... Just like when we were... I'm just worried that something sim... <sighs> I was th if it weren't for my poor. No need to feel guilt. Isn't that why we can't draw the blue? <laughs> hey, what are you trying to say? The choo choo cart. Really? You know, Clee. Yeah, what? Hey, Clee. Yay! Looks like all three of them are trying to win Clee's approval now. Clee hasn't real. Hey, everyone. Torrential Twister is ready to run now. Let's go to the station at the start of the track. Hado and I have double-checked everything. It's all operating safely. You can go for a ride now. Hold on a sec. Before we say goodbye, I have something I'd like to give you. It's a rock climbing rope. We used it on our adventure. Huh? But doesn't it mean a lot to you? Yes, of course. Thanks to Klee and everyone else's help, we realize that there's a special bond that keeps us- Huh? <laughs> yes. Even bigger than that huge thing in the middle of- Yes. Wow, that's- By the way, have you ever seen anything like the choo-choo cart in the outside? Nope. Today was the first time I wrote- Is that so? <laughs> I guess I'm not surprised. 
Seems you won't find to be sure to come back and ride the choo-choo carts again while you still have the chance. Yep. I to bother our young mage, but there's something a master thief would like to report. Uh-oh, I was having so We're supposed to be helping Adia look for the missing components. You mean you snatched it when we weren't looking? <laughs> In fact, the component we were searching for was actually that orange rope. Aw, do we real? Okay, even though I want to keep playing... That's our ways, mage. <sighs> uh... Seems Kokomi's out of it after that ride. Her face. Uh, huh? I thought I was. Don't worry. My mind is always spinning. I'm used to that. How about we hold hands, Miss General? Klee will give you an. Uh huh. After holding Klee's hand, the stars in the sky and the. Hmm? What are you sm. Uh huh? Oh. <clears throat> Better than nothing. she had a little too much fun and now she's about to crash. Good idea. I think we could all use some time. Then we'll see you later. Bye, Mr. Honorary Nut. Well, it sounds like our young mage enjoyed herself. I'm so happy that she had a good time. So, back to the missing component. Did you bring it? You bet! Kaya said that the missing component... Oh, 
Ah, uh, it just occurred to me that you probably ran into the three... If I remember correctly, the two eldest brothers were taking their sickly younger brother on adventures. They were all arguing with one another when they first arrived. Uh, they sure must have all... <laughs> you almost sound as if... Yes, I've known them for quite some time after... You can hold on to the rope for now, Traveler. I have no... By the way, Eula and Kale have also returned, but I'm afraid they weren't able to make much headway. They mentioned that they would like to head to the jungle north of here, once you have all rested up. Now that I've told you everything, I'll go rest. Uh, I mean, I'll... Do you need me to accompany you? Oh, uh, no, it's alright. <laughs>